Hi, so for the life of me, I, I got this new laptop and I actually couldn't get it to boot off of the CD-ROM. And the reason why I wanted to get it to boot off of the CD-ROM was because I wanted to run a uh, hard drive imaging software on it so I could actually copy the entire hard drive before I actually do any modifications to this new laptop that I got. And what I found uh, through some research on the internet was everything these days are UEFI. So after the BIOS is booted up, it actually is looking for a separate partition, whether it's on the um, wh whether it's on the computer uh, memory NAND uh, temporary memory, or it's actually in a partition on the hard drive. It expects a partition there that it boots off of before it boots onto the uh, operating system. So when, when I was putting in my CD-ROM, that partition, that UEFI partition wasn't there. So um, it just wouldn't boot because there's no boot partition uh, from the point of view of the uh, UEFI uh, new booting system. So, um, and I'm explaining this in layman's terms. I don't really uh, quite understand it because uh, for many years I've, you know, booted off of the BIOS and off of the CD-ROM and it worked and I cloned my hard drive that way um, and everything worked the way it worked for you know the last 20 years well that's all changed so what, what I had to do uh, in my BIOS was um, you know basically under security I had to disable the secure boot so I disabled that and if I go into advanced, I have a screen that's system configuration here in the bottom. If I go in there, I have this choice of UEFI. If I didn't disable secure boot, I wouldn't be able to go into this choice. So I disabled secure boot. And now I could choose UEFI boot or CSM boot. CSM boot is just your classic um, BIOS booting. So I'm going to choose that, and you'll notice when I choose that, if I go back to security, I no longer have that choice here of secure boot or not secure boot. So what this will do is actually boot off of your classic boot partition on your CD-ROM. So it turns out my CD-ROM that I had, uh, the software that I'm using is uh, Acronis, and Acronis has a UEFI a boot CD and a non-UEFI boot CD. So mine's happened to be non-UEFI, so all it did was cycle back because it couldn't find the boot partition. So now, if I go exit and I save changes, you'll see it's gonna boot off of the CD-ROM. Whereas before it just kept on uh, you know going in a loop saying it couldn't find or, or actually it would bypass the CD-ROM and it would just boot off of the hard drive which is pretty frustrating because uh, I, I see a lot of I, I see a lot of questions on this on the internet So that's, that's how you would boot off of uh, a CD-ROM uh, by changing all those settings. So after I do this, I, I can actually copy the UEFI partition and clone the whole hard drive. And I, I actually have a USB 3.0 hard drive here that I'm going to plug in. And hopefully it's not too late. Hopefully it'll, it'll already have the drivers installed. And if not, I'll, I'll have to actually um, So it looks like it's detecting my hard drive Yep So you'll see down here 
is a bunch of partitions and one of those partitions is the UEFI partition here. I believe it's probably this uh, system partition. I'm not too sure but the, the idea was I was going to clone this whole drive so that I have it as a backup. Um, and now I could do that by changing the settings in my BIOS. So um, if, you, if anybody runs into the same issue, this is how you resolve it. Uh, by going into the BIOS and choosing uh, all the options properly. Now, I already did my backup. And, and notice the contradiction here is I actually have to boot into the normal BIOS boot to actually copy my UEFI partition off of the hard drive. Uh, but that's only because the CD that I have the Acronis CD that I have is not UEFI. But also, um, what I found is I do actually have a UEFI Acronis boot CD. And uh, that boot CD actually had a bug in it, which is very common uh, version that people have on the internet where they could actually boot off of the UEFI DVD CD, but not see the um, drives here and and uh, Acronis actually has a patch for that so if you also run into that issue um, you know that that is something to also watch out for I am gonna I, I'm gonna actually uh, go back in, into my BIOS and reset my settings to the UEFI because I do want to boot off of UEFI. Whoops, wrong choice here. Go back down to system config. And I do want to turn on secure boot for the rootkit um, viruses that might actually infect uh, the operating system. So I'm going to exit save changes and uh, there you go uh, hope this helps if you have the same problem uh, thank you for watching oh no notice here that now that I changed it back to UEFI you'll see I, I got this boot message that it actually can't find the basically the UEFI boot partition here. So I, I forgot to take out my CD-ROM. I'm just going to take out my CD-ROM and reboot the system. Okay, let me find the right plug here. So now it's just going to boot into the system with the UEFI on the hard drive. But just be aware that is that the new UEFI kind of scheme of uh, you know booting up a computer is uh, totally different now so this is actually the first time this has booted up and the whole purpose of me doing this it was to get a clone of the whole hard drive before I messed around with any of the settings or before I configured my computer from scratch. Okay, uh, thank you for watching.